Zayt, Stretch, and Saf had an iconic reboot clutch. Bugo, Bizzle, and Clix earned three victory royales in grand finals. Day, Reverse, and Miro were the defending FNCS champions. They are by far your best trio in NAEs. Scented, Edgy, and Commandment were one of the most dominant trios ever, and dozens of top players like Kanata were vying for their chance to win FNCS. So how did this trio come out of nowhere and complete one of the most dominant runs we've ever seen? Here's the story of the criminally underrated Chapter 2 Season 5 FNCS. Chapter 2 Season 4 was peak Fortnite, and the hype for Season 5 was insanely high. There were some early indications it would be a great season. Bro, look at the mob! There was a balanced and unique loot pool like bouncers for mobility. The shotguns, which included Tat, Charge, and Dragon, were balanced, even if some pump lovers were disappointed. And five POI changes, along with a new biome, kept the season interesting. Though it did peter out a little bit as sand tunneling, the season's main feature, was frequently bugged and the map did not change. So competitive had to carry its weight, and boy, did it. Nick Merckx and Cypher PK played FNCS qualifiers and content was gold. I can't overstate how ridiculous this is. I mean, the memes were flying. People were having a great time watching Nick Merckx genuinely. On EU, Mongrel, Mitro, and Benji got back together, but split after one week and struggling immensely. Oh my god, what? Oh my god, I don't know how this just happened. Oh my god. Why is that controller? An epic moment for the world's most viral new pro. This is not me, dude! Right here, box this guy! Oh, that is him! Oh, f dude! Dude, it didn't show his name above it! But the biggest story, one that was about to shake up competitive forever, was about to drop. Uh, is I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna stop competing. No! I'm gonna stop playing no! With Zay retiring, there was a major shakeup at the top of FNCS teams, most notably Booga replacing Zayt with Stretch and Saf. But there were lots of other great teams in NA East. Macwood, Bucky, and Kanata were dominating and had craggy cliffs uncontested. Degen, Agers, and Skittles were an up and coming team landing at Orchard. Scented, Edgy, and Commandment were coming fresh off a of second place in Season 4 and eager to win whoever landed at Misty Meadows. Day, Miro, and Reverse were defending champions from Chapter 4, but our mystery team, the hottest team going into FNCS Grand Finals, was Jack, Acorn, and Slacks. They landed at Slurpee Swamp, and they come fifth in the last FNCS Grand Finals, and then third, first, and fifth in Frosty Frenzy. Third, second, second, first, first, first in Cash Cups, won the Cypher PK Cup, and then their FNCS Heat. There it is, Jack, Acorn, and Slacks. One of the most consistent teams coming into it this weekend. And again, I'm the one always arguing they just don't get enough credit for how phenomenally they are performing right now with Cash Cups being unregion locked. I know Acorn specifically, one day last week, he played the Trio Cash Cup in EU, came sixth, then played the NA East Cash Cup and came first, then played the NA West Cash Cup and played sixth. That is like nine hours of competitive Fortnite in a row on three of the biggest regions and showed up on all of them. So... Leading up to FNCS, they were an underrated pick, but then something major shook up the NAE scene. Zayt has already come back out of retirement. He is going to be playing FNCS, and he's going to be doing it with his old team, Saf and Stretch. Stretch and Saf took him back with open arms, which made sense. They had dominated together in the past, but there was just one problem. It left World Cup champion without a trio. And from a content perspective, it could not have turned out better. He teamed up with IGL Bizzle and Clicks, forming the most clouded duo since MMB. And by the laws of nature, all famous trios need a three letter acronym. So they became BBC. Wait, the stage was set for these teams to go at it and possibly the most stacked grand finals ever with one exception. Zayt, Saf, and Stretch had not managed to qualify through heats, and they had to play the reboot round where a single winner, take all game, made it to grand finals. The odds were stacked against them, but going into endgame, they took height, and one of the most epic moments was born. Stretch is 
setting up. He's looking. He's got the meds, but he's also got the eyes in the sky. Who has more meds? Stretch or Mega? Mega went out deep. He went in early. He's pushing back in. He knows he doesn't have it. He can't get the med kit off. That's it. As long as Stretch heals this, Zate, Saf, and Stretch will be going through to the grand final. Wow. Stretch holds on to his history. He goes into every single FNCS grand final. So, the stage was set for grand finals. Predictions were all over the place going into the tournament. Let's start in game two. Scented edgy commandment go down early. This is huge between two titans of the scene right now. And I guess this is our fight over near the Misty Meadows Mountains. We have Xypher's team pushing down from the mountains. Scented's team starting inside Misty, but they get wiped out. Acorn, Jack, and Slacks get caught in a congested lair. Slacks manages to hang on as long as he can. Defending champions Day Mirror in reverse get the win. Reverse wow. 2K, Day and Miro, our ex FNCS champions. In game three, Zate, Saf, and Stretch go down off spawn. Acorn, Jack, and Slacks take a fight and win, managing to get their hands on the only rocket launcher in the lobby. Down opponent, they're now 200 above, and I don't know, Monster, do you have any clue into how they maybe got this RPG? And as we move into the final zones, Acorn and team manage to grab height, and they run through the lobby, finally unleashing the RPG, capping off a 15 elimination win way back through this you talked about the dragon's breath they have the firepower oh, no. they have the potential but they're up oh, against the no. rpg and it is destroying low ground acorn gets two eliminations it's a 3v1 it's a victory royale a 15 elimination victory oh. for this team monster what and they grab first place in game four kanata bucky and mac would take height bucky kanata and mac would have their high ground under control acorn goes down but manages the top 10 and Bucky, Mackwood, and Kanata go toe to toe with scented edgy commandment to close the game. Edgy commandment, they've got to drop the commandment. Down. Commandment has he's got that big epic charge shotgun, takes them out. Here it is, commandment edgy. You've lost your leader, scented. What can you do? Commandment being known as a tarpa, but has some of the best fighting mechanics oh in my the game. Gosh. And there it is, the big 70 tag, oh, the big 142. Go. Commandment leading the charge on the low ground with the builds, and now he leads the charge in the end game with the big charge shotgun. He's gonna go up. He's gonna stay in zone here and they do oh Command my gosh. Edgy. game five starts with an insane snipe by chase already you said on stream oh sorry that would totally just wow booga gets knocked early by another beautiful snipe and chimp gets us to three for three on epic snipes but booga is brought back from the dead and he bizzle and clicks finally show signs of life take height hold it Miro gets a clean elim on Mackwood. Miro pushes Bizzle on height, but Bizzle shuts it down and wins. They dropped all of their white heels onto Bizzle. If it goes to a heal off, he has the advantage. But Miro, we know how Miro likes to play. He doesn't want to go for the heal off. He wants to take the fight. But the spray from Gabe and Tahi on low ground is everything Bizzle needs, I think, to close this one out. He has the flopper. The team on low ground has been wounded. And it is Bizzle, Booga, and Cle A truly great moment from a player who is only two months away from trending on Twitter for being bad. After five games, Day, Miro, and Reverse are in first. Booga, Clicks, and Bizzle surge up the leaderboard. Game six was packed with big names and action of the top teams going head to head. Zate, Saf, and Stretch push Scented Edgy and Commandment. As go down, Edgy's down. Scented Edgy and Commandment have just been absolutely aggroed by Zate, Saf, and Stretch and finish the job. Commandment is going to get taken out. Mackwood, Bucky, and Kanata take a bad fight with Kaz, Riverson, and Voil and end up losing Bucky. Man, it's not going easy right now. Riverson's team's not going down without a fight. Kaz takes down Bucky. Bureau and Reverse are making plays as duos. Booga snipes Saf. I'm in a year. That's what you want as well, because you want to keep pushing Ooh. that leaderboard further forward. Slash Jack and Ooh, Acorn is still in this one. On They're still hunting a snap. And then BBC hold height in fight. Jack commences a solo clutch. BBC lose height. And DJ and Azures and Skittles take it. Jack goes down. Kanata pops off on low. After the pair right here connecting. And down to the low ground. My gosh, Kanata. He is also rolling right here. Ooh. Rocking and rolling with another two pieces. DJ and Azures and Skittles keep height and secure the win. One-sided 3v3 we've seen here today. Oh, Game man. number six is going to go to DGEN's Ages and Skittles. Miro and team concede ground for first. Skittles hops to third, Kanata jumps to fourth, and Scented holds down fifth. With Buga Creo rounding out the top 10 and Zate, Stretch, and Saf capping off a struggle of a day in 24th.
Going into day two, we had ourselves a tourney. Acorn and Co come in hot, and Miro, who at this point has a staggering 14 more eliminations than the next best player, gets another nifty one. Zate, Stretch, and Saf wipe a trio, take height, reverse, Day, and Miro have clear control of the low ground. Here it is. All of a sudden, they go from low and a little bit lower, and they jump on into Ooh. the box. And here it is. Miro's going to follow up. It's onto Crunchy. And then things go absolutely haywire. Three top five teams, including the top two, all went to war on the low ground. Day kills Jack. Scented kills Acorn. Scented kills Reverse, Day kills Edgy, and Stretch wins the heal off. Madness! Oh my Ground. god. As Scented, Edgy, Jack, Acorn, Slacks go down. Day takes down Jack in the feed. Scented converts onto Acorn. We have three teams, eight players alive right now. So it looks like we've got a 3v3v2, Reverse 2k, and Day. What a phenomenal performance here. Even if they go down now, they've already done so much here. But Stretch, Zayn, Staff are setting up for this. Stretch is on the high ground. He's popping the med kit. He's going for the heal off. We haven't seen too many heal off wins here. But does he have it? It's right on cue. I don't know if he got this off in time. He does. Commandment is down there. Well, it looks like we might see Scented Edgy Commandment with the second place. Stretch, Zayt, and Sav come out with the victory royale. Commandment and team manage to cap off a 14 elimination second. Off spawn, Zayt, Sav, and Stretch get contested, cannot clean up the team fast enough, and Acorn gets extremely optimistic. Oh, Jack Acorn Ooh. slacks. Our second place team can get their hands on the RPG. This would be massive monster. Day Miro and Reverse down on Surge, late rotating, get bailed out by an insane clutch snipe by Mr. 2K himself. Then wipe a team. Get punished for it. Oh, and they grab it, and that's a quick wipe up, and that's onto Frat. So the question now becomes, can they be stopped? Bizzle with another solo clutch for his team. It's as if the Bizzle slander is and was totally unnecessary. And Illis takes care of business and he, Avery, and Creo take the win. Here are the standings. It's getting closer. Day dies early. Dusky takes down Day in the feed. Reverse and Miro are in shambles and die soon after and suddenly the floor is wide open for the rest of the teams. You can assume it's about as over as it can be for Reverse Who Can Miro. Clicks, Booga, and Bizzle grab height. Clicks gets an elimination. Booga and Clicks pull the win, but Scented, Edgy, and Commandment get second place, but find themselves on top of the leaderboard. Scented goes immediately, so first place is seemingly back up for grabs, but they manage to win a fight, res Scented, and lose commandment in the process, who flows down the river, but they get him up. This tournament was bonkers. Booga, Bizzle, and Clicks make another aggressive height play as the zone goes up a cliff. We don't usually show too much love to tarping, but look at commandment deal with this elevation change. Beautiful. And look at this. This man can tarp like this. He makes decisions like this on elevation changes. Booga, Bizzle, and Click spray down. The whole top three are still alive in this endgame. Scented finally goes down, but Commandment clutches an Elim that also gets placement points. Clicks, Booga, Bizzle secure their second victory royale of the tournament, and Acord manages to clutch third. Commandment and Co. manage to clutch just enough to keep their lead. Day, Miro, and Reverse jump to second, past Jack, Acorn, and Slacks, with Clicks, Booga, and Bizzle jumping into the top five. And people started asking, can they make a comeback of a lifetime? With Bizzle down and Surge becoming an issue, Clicks gets a clutch Elin. Who said he doesn't make big plays in big moments? On the other hand, Scented, Edgy, and Commandment, who are still in first, are absolutely in deep with Surge and go down with zero points. Booga goes down and Clicks has to solo clutch. Booga is down here, it's all up to Clicks. And after taking out Acorn, Dom and Dusky look to play spoilers to each of the top teams and get the game 11 victory royale. Acorn did just enough to take first going into the final game. Right now, Slacks, Acorn, and Jack, five points, only five points ahead of Commandment, Scented, and Edgy. That's three eliminations right now. With 50 players left, the first moving zone comes in. It's crazy. This is nightmare fuel. It is going to go across and over the waterfall. Acorn, and Jack, and Slacks, who are narrowly in first, get a great rotate to front of zone, and then a refresh. It looks like they got a refresher as well. This is massive, and those are big pickups there. That's more loot for them to work with. Going over, each contending team is still in the game, 
Zayt has height, Scented is weak, and he goes down. Watching a very little oh, right now, Moss gonna try and hold in this one. Scented goes down. Day gets an elimination, and Booga, Bizzle, and Clicks fall. Edgy goes down after an elimination. No low ground no. to play. This is essentially a sky base. Edgy goes down. And Commandment looks to carry the torch after getting a nasty elimination. But with 11 players left and the first place team is still alive, he is out of mats and leaps into the lobby. He's got nowhere to go. He jumps. That's it. Oh, Second no. place is down. Miro eliminates Acorn and starts solo clutching. Kanata manages to eliminate Saf in style. Kanata goes up right now. He goes oh off the bounce. Gosh. He has that legendary tax shot. And then Bucky and Zay in his last FNCS game ever end it with an aim duel. Invite straight into next FNCS finals. Zay, the king of the high ground, can he do it? It's gonna come down to oh. literally one tick. Ten oh, no. Zay falls. Bucky oh, just no. manages to win it. And we wait with bated breath to see who won. I can't believe that it came down to a four point difference. But your trio's champions out of NA East who held on to the title. That's right, it's Ooh. Slax, it's Acorn, it's Jock. We are talking four point difference, boys. With the final leaderboard being painfully close. Ray Kroc, the entrepreneur behind McDonald's, once said, luck is a dividend of sweat. The more sweat, the luckier you get. And under this definition, Acorn, Jack, and Slacks are definitely sweats. We do lots of other amazing videos, so please do watch the next one on YouTube. Like and subscribe.